Hello, my name is Caleb Smith with the Rocket Miner newspaper, here with an update for May 19th, 2021, where we're going to be talking about graduations again. Hope that's not too surprising to you all. Farson Eden High School had its graduation tonight, and I was fortunate to be able to be there. I I've been extra fortunate th this graduation season as I've been able to cover a lot of the smaller, more personal ceremonies, such as the nursing pin er, nurse pinning ceremony at Western Wyoming Community College, the high school equivalency certi certificate ceremony, also at the college, Black Butte High School earlier this week, and of course tonight, Farson Eden High School. With some of these ceremonies, with the class sizes being smaller than some other places, um, like the school that I, uh, I attended high school, there were just, um, there were about a hundred of us, still don't know how we all graduated, but because of that, there was, um, there's sometimes more grand sweeping generalizations talking on, not as much talking about uh, graduates, individuals one by one, and that's one of the benefits of Farson, where there were multiple speakers who had personalized message for each and every graduate that was there, um, both students and from their commencement speaker. One of the other things that was also really cool that I'm just going to have to describe to you because I didn't couldn't uh, because of some technical issues is that during one of the slideshow, seniors were able to present flowers to family members, teachers, um, and others just to show their thanks for all the support they enjoyed over the years and just for always being there for them. Uh, before the ceremony, the stu students were actually warned, it's, uh, were going over the sequence of events, and one of the things they stress is that, okay, for, for presenting the flowers, you got two songs to get your flowers out there, and there were some students that actually had detailed their list uh, before the ceremony. There were some that were kind of winging it a little bit as they went on, and there were even some who, the second song's wrapping up, people are heading toward the stage, and the music kind of fades out, and I heard one of the graduates utter, I ran out of time. And actually, that person was still, uh, even after the commencement ceremonies had concluded, he was still presenting, uh, I saw him present at least one more flower to someone in the lobby, saying, I don't think that I forgot you, and exchanging hugs. It's nice when, after so many years worth of work, so many sacrifices, especially this past year, the pandemic being a pandemic, that there's something to celebrate, this is a milestone to build upon, though something the guests... Um, the guest speaker or commencement speaker, or the English teacher at Farson Eden, um, Ms. Sorensen, stressed that uh, in one of her messages that tomorrow is more important today. It's what you do next that's going to be uh, more important with what you've learned thus far these last more than a dozen years. So we're hopeful to see what this, uh, the members of the Farson Eden class of 2021 and other graduates that um, are now looking for a spot on their wall to put their diplomas, that they've um, found a, um, hopefully, spot of honor to put their cap and gown, especially some of them ha have hats that were really cool designs. Um, you can look for pictures online at rocketminer.com. Um, we try to share some of those. Um, we're looking forward to see what you all do, and we're hoping that you're, it's, you continue to be an inspiration to those both young and old and this community to see what we all can do. This is Caleb Smith with the Rocket Miner newspaper. Wish you a good day and a safe tomorrow. Bye.